Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will soon welcome their first child into the world. But which chapel will they choose for their baby's christening? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have moved to Frogmore Cottage, in the grounds of the Windsor estate, to raise their child away from the public eye. The cottage is only half a mile away from St. George's Chapel, in the grounds of Windsor Castle, so it would be easy in the early months of their parents to choose this venue for the christening. St. George's Chapel is also significant for the couple, as they got married there on May 19, 2018. A reception for guests, including the godparents who are traditionally announced on the morning of the ceremony, could be held at Harry and Meghan's new home. Their wedding reception was also at Frogmore House, so holding the christening there would bring back lots of special memories. Kensington Palace said Windsor was a very special place for the Sussexes when they were given their new home by the Queen last year. St. George's Chapel is also where Prince Charles and Princess Diana had three-month-old Prince Harry christened four days before Christmas in 1984. Harry was said to have dozed and behaved well during the private ceremony. But he became tearful during the reception until he was comforted by his great-grandmother the Queen Mother. Meanwhile, Prince William, who was only two and a half at the time, ran around the guests as they chatted in the castle afterwards, before then taking center stage in the official photos. If the christening is held in Windsor, the Queen may even be able to attend. Windsor Castle is the Queen's favorite home and she has spent a lot of time there over the last few years. She missed Prince Louis' baptism, which was held in the Chapel Royal, at St. James's Palace, in July, due to a jam-packed week of engagements. This included a visit from American President Donald Trump. But as nothing has been confirmed yet, other venues for the christening could include the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Windsor Great Park. What happens during a royal christening? As the Queen is head of the Church of England, royal babies will always be christened. The babies wear the family christening gown, which is a replica of the intricate frilly cream lace and satin robe made for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter in 1841. The Archbishop of Canterbury, who married Harry and Meghan, also performs the christening service, 